So guys, Miss Kimmy Cakes, Salmon DA, listen, I told you guys that Kim, if she does too much, is coming back. I told you guys that he's just waiting on Miss Kimmy to make one wrong move and he'll be back. Now, the flying monkeys came, they accused me of copying videos, but listen, I've been on point and I have to give myself credit where credit is due. I have to tap myself on the shoulder. Not just that, I have to say a huge shout out to those secret sources that never ever wants to be mentioned. I'm grateful to you guys, but let's get serious now, okay? Because Kim summoned DA, but she's not ready for the fire and the storm that he's coming with. Yeah, guys, Ye is coming for Kim's ass. Kim knew that she drew the line with that ice spice. Hmm. With that song, hmm. Ye was already um, fearful of Kim putting North into Playboy, Disney, and everything that this man said Kim would do. We're seeing where this came to pass. He told us that Kim is going to consistently use TikTok to taunt him with North, right? He told us that Kim and Kris Jenner, because that's not allegedly, we all saw the tweets, right? Even Steve Wonder did, right? So this is confirming for me that Kim did summon this man. She knew how to summon him. She knew that she wasn't getting his attention the moment he married Bianca Sensori. And not just that, I did another video, but I had to backtrack because Listen, when the king comes to the internet, I have to roll with what is rolling, okay? And I have to let people know that their favorite star is back. But I'm also learning, guys, on a more serious note now, that Miss Kimmy Cakes is planning on um, exposing some, you know, sexy photos of Ye's wife, Bianca Sensori. Now, I think that that is beneath Kim because who is... Who is Kim to be releasing anything of anyone? Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, when it comes to that, we all know the story. Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner, we know the story that Ray J told us, right? So I believe that, you know, while it's not far-fetched of her to do this, I believe that it could be someone from her camp who is going to do this. Because if you guys remember, when Ye was with Chaney, they did the same thing to Chaney Jones. So I believe that they're... They're, they're definitely going to do this to Bianca Sensori. So it's not far-fetched. I believe we're going to see it if it's not out yet and it hasn't gotten to us. But but I want people to know that, people to know that these Kardashians, they play dirty. They are not, you know, that group of people that you think they're saints. They're no saints. This is what they do whenever their brand is going down ill whenever the internet is done with them whenever whenever people are not buying their product this is what they do kim kardashian is media savvy and that is something that we have to give her kudos for but at the same time we cannot give a woman kudos for manipulating her child we cannot give a woman kudos for damaging her child's mental health knowing that her father has been allegedly diagnosed with a condition because even now i think that kim and chris is the one who's bipolar you know maybe i'm not saying that they are but i'm just thinking right that's just my personal belief because when you look into the fact of <laughs> chris jenner owns a church but she has a boyfriend chris jenner's a pastor like sometimes i have to be pinching myself to say is this for real but then again i have I also have to remind myself that this is Hollywood. This is how, you know, Hollywood works. That's how some things work in some country, right? Um, with, Kim, um, with Kim Kardashian, she's just grooming her daughter the same way her mom groomed her. She believed that everything that her mom did for her turned out great. She doesn't believe that she would have been a superstar if she didn't take those um, routes. She don't believe that she would be a superstar if she didn't have a few sex tapes. But the reality is what you're destined for is just what you're destined for. I believe that she would have still been famous being Robert Kardashian's daughter and putting herself out there. I think people would 
you know, still love, admire, respect her because without that sex tape and stuff, Kim has really done some amazing work for herself, building her brand, right? So she still would have gotten that fame that she needed. But now she has four West kids. She intends off she, she intends on exploiting those kids. She intends on those two girls, especially Chicago. Listen, guys, we haven't seen anything yet. Ye told us that Chicago is either going to be a blessing or a problem, right? And when Ye said that, many people trashed him. Many people thought that he was being a horrible dad. Until people really got to know Chicago, they were like, oh my God, he was right. He was right. Let me tell you something. I've never seen a day when this man has been wrong with any of his predictions. So I know that. When it comes to Chicago, based on what I'm seeing, Kim is going to exploit her even more than what she's doing to North. And because Chicago loves um, fashion, she loves the limelight. Listen, Chicago is into fashion even more than Kim. Chicago is even more fashionable than Kim. And she has an amazing fashion sense at that early age. So you know that Kim Kardashian is going to expound on that. And she's going to even do more. But with Kim summoning Ye back to the internet with that I Spice TikTok video, I don't even know if we're ready. I don't think we're ready. He gave her a chance to cut out her bullshit. She got warning. She didn't take aid, but let's see what happens going forward, right? This is all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are and see you all next time. Bye, guys.